In this video, I'm going to be trying out the Range 2 from RevoPoint. The Range 2 is a powerful 3D scanner that has both RGB and depth cameras on board, which allows it to create really accurate 3D scans. This video is going to be me trying it out and just doing a few scans in my living room, and then I'm going to do a follow-up video in about a month's time where I do a complete digi-double using this scanner, which I'm really excited about. You can use the scanner with either your phone or a PC, and just for portability I decided to do this on my phone. So to start off with I went fairly simple just to see how it would work and get the hang of it. I decided to scan a small plant in my living room. As you can see here this is what the interface looks like, and similar to photo scanning you simply just orbit around the object and leave the scanner running until you feel like you've captured the entire object. Once it finishes it shows you a point cloud of the object and you can pan around it on your phone and get a pretty good idea of how it's worked. And then you can either do the post-processing on your phone, or you can share it to a computer and do a much more advanced version of the processing. Once in the software you can do things like isolating any floating geometry, removing overlapping vertices, all the kind of things you would expect to have to do to process a 3D scan. And then from here you can finalise the mesh quality and bake out the textures for use in a software like Blender, which is my 3D software of choice. So once the scan was complete I chucked it out to Blender as an OBJ with a texture file, and then I brought it in and just messed around with the shaders for a little bit just to see what it would do. As you can see the final quality of the scan is fantastic, and as well as the mesh being really good it's also done a very good job of capturing the textures, which is something when I've done previous photo scans has always been a bit troublesome. After the plant I decided to try a slightly larger object, the Range 2 is able to scan a pretty large area so I wanted to try something a bit bigger. This is just a basket that I have in my living room that's got some blankets and a yoga mat in it. I thought this would be quite a good one as it's a very organic shape, it's got some quite interesting detailed textures on the basket weave, and it's also an object inside another object. As you can see from this result, it did an incredible job, I was actually really really impressed by this. I thought it might struggle on the handles because they're quite thin, but it did a fantastic job on them and the rest of the model as well. Once again I shared it to my computer and brought it into RevoScan, but this time instead of doing the step by step detailed processing, I just used the one click solution and let the software do the rest. Again, once that was finished I chucked it out to Blender, and like I said I was super impressed with this, it's the scan that came out the best of the three that I did, and this gave me a lot of confidence that I could make something really cool with this in the future. And then finally just for a bit of fun I tried to scan my face, this isn't really a fair test because I wasn't able to move the scanner around my head, I just had to sit on a chair and swivel, so I wasn't able to scan the top of my head or anything, and also when I moved my arm to press start and stop it actually messed up the scan a little bit. But even with those challenges it did a fantastic job on this scan, I've tried lots of times to 3D scan my face and other people's faces and bodies, and it's never been very successful with photo scanning in the past. As you can see the quality on this is fantastic, barring the fact that I moved slightly and messed it up. The bits of my face where it's worked well are really impressive, the level of detail in the textures is great, and the mesh is surprisingly accurate. The files for these three scans are going to be on my Patreon if anyone wants to download them and play around with them. And like I said, in a following video coming soon, I'm going to be making a full body 3D scan of myself to use as a digi-double for a very exciting project. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.